I recently built a little remote control rover that uses two continuous rotation servos to move it. I should have a video about it in the near future. However, the rover is not what I want to talk about today in this video. It is how to mod regular servos to make them continuous rotation. There are two ways to do this. One way is to trick the servo to think it is getting a solid power supply using two 2.5 kilo ohm resistors. Forrest Treneman has a great video on that. Then there is a little more green way. It involves taking the potentiometer from a broken servo and adding it to a good servo to make it able to rotate continuously, which is what I'll be showing you today. To start off, you will need one good servo and one broken servo, or a servo you don't want. Unscrew the broken servo and take the top and bottom covers off. There should be four gears, two on the motor shaft and two on the potentiometer shaft. Take all them off, but keep the ones for the potentiometer. Then remove the potentiometer. You will notice three wires connected from the board to the potentiometer. Desolder the wires from the potentiometer and set it aside. You can discard the remains of the servo you took apart. Take the bottom part of the good servo off and pull the board out of the way so you can unsolder the three wires from the potentiometer. Once you have desoldered the wires off the good servo's potentiometer, you are going to solder them onto the old potentiometer. As far as I know, it doesn't matter what way the wires get soldered, but maybe pay attention to what order they were soldered just to be safe. Adding heat shrink here would not be a bad idea since a lot of bending can occur here. So right now you should have your good servo's potentiometer with no wires connected to it still in the servo and the bad servo's potentiometer connected to the wires coming out of the board just hanging around randomly. Now take the top cover off the good servo and cut off the tab that is on the top gear. All of the soldering and cutting is done, just put the servo back together. The wires will be a tight fit coming out of the case, just be patient while putting it all together. Connect the servo to a tester or a receiver, set it to a neutral position, and turn the external potentiometer until the servo does not move. Glue it so the shaft of the potentiometer cannot move, and there you have it! Your continuous rotation servo is now complete. I hope you found this useful and I hope you enjoyed.